We have a surprise here. This is the Foil X, the shorter 4-8 board, and it is the color Grape Ape. <laughs> so let's open it up, shall we? And we'll do an unboxing. So stoked. All right. Popping the foil tape. Watch out, cat. Very good, very good. It looks so small. <laughs> <laughs> and just like the first board I got, it came in a kind of a felt bag, just mainly for shipping. I can see the purple. <laughs> it looks so cool. <laughs> Whoa. All right. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so that cool? it's so pretty. I love the purple. Come check at this. It's exposed carbon fiber. You can actually feel the layer. It's almost like a skin. So they kind of like cut it out in order to expose the the foil underneath the paint and it's whoa it's kind of a matte finish that's so cool it has handles i really like how these handles are very low profile they don't they're, they're stick leather. up too high they're leathery um, definitely a subject of things some people might like big arching handles but i really like that these are nice and low profile to the deck that's very awesome now i get to see the inside whoa the inside. this is for like the battery yep that's where the battery goes and there's some tools right here and a little bag and a little bag yep and you can read this is to bag. let you know that uh you don't want to allow too much water to come over the top of the board because the Bluetooth signal escapes from the battery through the perimeter of the hatch. The battery is just underneath here and the Bluetooth antenna is roughly here. So the Bluetooth antenna is going to be closest to the hinges. So that's why they have this here to let you know that you don't want to get too much water over the top of it. Otherwise, the water will blo block the Bluetooth signal. And then this is some extra space, so they probably use the exact same uh, box for the 5.8 board. They just simply move this over and take this out. So they, use this, they probably use the exact same size of box for both size boards using that uh, insert there. So there you have it, uh, the Foil X Grape. Ape foil board. Whoa. <laughs> and the camera looks more pink than purple. Yeah, it's it's a it's a unique purple. I really love the, the color of purple. This is like the same purple I want for my costume. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's it. Live life to the foilist. Goodbye. The 5.8 foil deck battery compartment hatch measures at 32.5 inches long compared to the foil X measuring at 30.5 inches, a difference of 2 inches. Inside the battery compartment you can also see this same 2 inches represented as would be expected so there is 2 inches less space for storage inside the battery compartment. The Foil X battery compartment hatch has exposed carbon fiber. Looks absolutely beautiful on the inside, though you'll only be looking at it when you open it up. The entire battery compartment is three inches closer to the tail than that of the larger 5.8 board. Looking at the tail end of the board, the stern, we can see that there's really no difference at all. They look completely identical. Another look at the fabulous lettering, the exposed carbon fiber versus the painted foil logo. 
The nose, however, is slightly different between the two decks. The Foil X has a slightly more blunt shape compared to the more pointed nose of the 5-8 deck, which is evident by the packaging. As I mentioned earlier, you can see there's a little bit of space there. It doesn't fit perfectly as it does with the 5-8 board. Starting from the hinge line of the battery compartment, the Foil X measures to be 19 inches long to the tip, and then the 5.8 board measures 26 inches, a difference of 7 inches. Here we're looking at the rocker line of both boards, the Foil X and the regular Foil board, and both have the same rocker, but because of the shorter nose, the Foil X will have a more abrupt, steeper angle, just slightly as you can see here. Again, I would like to point out and applaud the low profile handles. It gives the board a very clean look as if they're almost not there at all. They will also be out of the way when you're sitting and flying. And speaking of flying, here's a couple of damn good pictures, pun intended, because in the background is the Glen Canyon Dam. And one last look at the bottom hole of the two boards and my curious cats. If you have any cats or pets that might want to scratch on the EVA foam on the top of the deck of the board, you may want to keep your boards in a bag and or away from your pets. You can use the original shipping bag, though it will eventually wear out, at which point you could buy one from the foil website or have one made in the same pattern as the one that came in the shipping. And uh, three more pictures of my boards on the beach. Please subscribe and do all those things you know how to do.